Hi, Peter Wood back again for True North Marine and Marine Radio, Radio License uh, Answers to Exam Questions presentation number two. If you need to contact us for a Marine Radio License exam, please use the website at truenorthmarine.com.au or marineradio.com.au. Here we go with question 16. Which of the following in accordance with Radio Communications Act 1992 may incur extreme penalties. This one pretty self-explanatory. Any false or deceptive distress, urgency or safety signals. Question 17. Which marine VHF channel is used for ship to aircraft uh, communications to coordinate search and rescue operations? Well, that is VHF channel 06D is the correct answer there. Question 18, what would be the total voltage if two 12 volt lead acid batteries were connected in series? So when they're in series, the voltage is increased. So the correct answer would be 24 volts D. Question 19, when may an activated EPO be switched off? It should be switched off when the rescue has been completed. So C is the correct answer. Question 20, what priority signal is followed by an urgent message concerning safety? So urgent is the operative word there. So the correct answer would be A, pan, pan. The priority signal, pan, pan for urgent messages. Question 21, which of the following is the correct distress call for a, marine, for a VHF marine radio? So we're looking for the announcement of the, the distress, mayday, 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 the words this is, and then vessel identification. So we can see there the bottom D is the correct answer. Question 22. Whose authority is required before transmitting a distress call and message? Again, self-explanatory, the master skipper or person responsible for the safety of the vessel. Answer C. Question 23. What would you do next after receiving a distress alert by VHF DSC? Well, DSC is a semi-automated system. It's a bit like sending a text message on your phone. So you can't answer back on the text channel. You have to ring the number. So it's the same thing with the DSC. It will send an alert, a text alert. But when you've received that, then normal VHF radio telephony uh, procedures apply. So A would be the correct answer. Stand by VHF channel 16 and be prepared to write down the radio log any signals or messages that you may receive. Question 24. When and how or how many an EPO may be tested? So you have to test an EPO in accordance with manufacturer's instructions for self-testing. D is the correct answer. Question 25, what should you do if no immediate reply is received to the initial routine call? The instructions are on the right hand side, but wait two minutes and repeat the call. Answer A is the correct answer. What is the range of marine VHF uh, dependent on? It's dependent on the combined height of the transmitting and receiving antennas. So B is the correct answer. To whom should safety calls and messages be addressed? So they should be addressed to all stations on the distress frequency B. What are the hours of operation for a limited coast station? Well, they're not fixed. They're determined by local requirements or state government legislation. So C is the correct answer. What is the viewing range or footprint of the COSPAS SARSATS low orbiting satellite? There's the uh, section taken from the Marine Radio Handbook. So they have a footprint of 2,000 kilometers either side. Well, there's no 2,000 in the selection. Um, therefore, uh, 4,000 would be the correct answer. What does the word out indicate during an exchange of communications? Out means that the exchange is completed. D is the correct answer. 
And there we have it. Hope that uh, helps you out. We'll look forward to uh, coming back to you shortly with some more answers to the exam questions. Like us if you can on uh, on the channel. And um, we'll see you next time. This is Peter Wood for now.